Daryl Quillam, Mayor of Circular Head. We're ready for another uh, weekly Mayor's message for Circular Head. Firstly, you wanted to speak uh, about a visit from some Danish students to the area recently. Yeah, last week uh, we had four Danish uh, students um, and they uh, were here with their, their uh, leader and they were here for three or four days and visited uh, Marawar, Arthur River, uh, went down to Woolnorth and uh, they were uh, well credentialed people uh, and they uh, were really keen to see what is happening in Circular Head and uh, were very appreciative of that and they visited the Rotary Club and uh, Wynyard and Circular Head Rotary Clubs combined for a combined meeting and uh, talked about um, Denmark and Australia and the fact that we've got, yes Mary, who come from Tasmania that's now in uh, over there and it's just really good to see that the Danes and the Tasmanians are, uh, are closer together and we have got a lot in common and uh, just to see the multicultural um, events between us is really good and I thought it was a great night. Okay, secondly you wanted to talk about some bullying projects that have been going on or anti-bullying. <laughs> yeah, the anti-bullying, yeah that's uh, been happening uh, all this month. There's a lot of anti-bullying uh, uh, discussions in schools, there's been two or three nights, um, there is an anti-bullying day on the 15th which is uh, next Friday and there's going to be speakers at the schools and uh, many of the schools are going to unite to have an aerial shot of uh, uh, and get to combine with a lot of other Australian or mainland uh, places as well and so uh, anti-bullying is, is obviously rife within schools, within sporting clubs and in the workplace and it's something that we need to try to stamp out. People need to get on with each other and uh, stop bullying and we need to be supportive rather than bullying. So uh, yeah it's good that this is being highlighted and Patrick Bates from the uh, Christian School is uh, leading the charge with this uh, uh, month and doing a great job and I commend him for it. And lastly you wanted to talk about the passing of uh, Meg Aldridge. Yeah, Meg Eldridge is uh, a lady that has been in uh, Stanley for many, many years and she was, uh, she's an OAM so she's obviously been recognised by, uh, uh, by the government and uh, I, I thank them for that because uh, she's certainly well worthy of this OAM and uh, she was been instrumental in working with the, uh, the Arch Festival that was at Stanley a number of years ago and uh, continued for a, a number of years there and uh, and also in a lot of historic uh, areas in Stanley, she's been really proactive with that and uh, with the Joe Lyon College, uh, Cottage and other areas there as well, she's been doing a fantastic job. So sad to see these people go. Uh, she was an older lady, but it's just uh, we need to honour people that uh, have done a fantastic job in volunteering for, their, uh, for our district. Excellent. Is there anything else at all? That's it uh, for this week and I want to... Uh, I hope that everybody has a, a great long weekend and uh, enjoys the, uh, the great weather we're having. It would be nice to see a rain, but uh, every day is getting closer. Thank you very much.